John Lang Wally's Professional Services. Doing a little two-story house wash. These are the ideal homes. That green algae. Get it all cleaned up. It's a nice size home. It's, it's extremely ideal. I have water leaking from my truck. I bet you somebody didn't close the valve after they drained the tank. What do you want to bet? What do you know? The tank's been filling up. So yeah, doing house wash, premium window cleaning, uh, getting the screens clean. Lexi's in there cleaning the tracks. The tracks are extremely filthy. I mean, they're really bad, so. Let's uh, hope we can get this done in time. Up here doing some windows, man, just the traditional way. It's a pain in the ass busting out that water fed pulp. So I don't, I, I'm trying to, if it's like less than 10 windows or whatever, I just do it traditionally, it's easier quicker um, I'm gonna get my water fed pole set up on a trailer though and then it'll be real easy it's just pulling a hose but till then I only bust that thing out it's big jobs now yeah that's the view from here it's windy as hell what's up John Lang Wally's professional services been brainstorming a lot lately you guys in the ma so just ordered some shirts ordered a quite a few good price just kept it simple just cotton shirts dark color uh, simple logo and soft wash slash soft wash and window cleaning on the back um, I actually saw it I saw the idea from another company and it's just that's the way to go man just you don't want all that junk on there and you know it's just simple just the logo what we do if people are that interested they can uh, google us you know but, um, anyway, so I've been brainstorming about the employee situation, man, because it's like, I really got everything in order. I got everything in order. I got the jobs flowing. I got the customer communication going. I got the equipment. I mean, it's, it's just the employees, you know, so without getting these employees in place, I'm, I'm dead, you know, because there's only so much I can do. Um... So I want to share some really great ideas I've come up with and I've talked with a higher up person about it and they think they're pretty great ideas. At least I'm on the right page, you know. Um, what, I'm, what I'm going to be doing is offering bonuses for employees that stick around and like just quick ones. So the first two weeks hundred dollar bonus you stay with us two weeks you get a hundred dollar bonus you stay with us 30 days you get a two hundred dollar bonus you stay with us three months you get a five hundred dollar bonus you know little stuff like that and it gives them this incentive to stick around and then the pay is not so whatever or even a dollar raise after a month a dollar raise every month for the first three months or so. And then after six months, a thousand dollar bonus, you know? And if you break it down, so let's look at it this way. So $300, say you're going to give someone $300 bonus at the end of a, at the end of a month for sticking around with you. It sounds like a lot. It kind of is a lot, but say you, you know, you pay him instead of paying him twelve bucks an hour, you pay him ten bucks an hour with a three hundred dollar bonus at the end of the month. So you get thirty days in a month. That's an extra ten bucks a day. You just put ten bucks aside each day for your employee uh, bonus. Genius! It's genius, you know. So it just gives people the incentive to even show up and stick around and. You know, and I just got to create a different culture. Um, 
I'm not going to go with bright colors and, you know, I'm going to go with more darker colors. Kind of get, get be more of a cutting edge look, like a cool place to work. You know, people aren't going to want to really work at this bubbly window cleaning, bubbly goo goo gaga place, you know. Just get cool people, solid team. And, you know, the issue with the employee thing that people don't really think about. People, you know, because I really thought finding employees was going to be easy. I really did. But it's not. And the thing with starting off is it's tough because it's like you're, you're a one-man show and you're going to get an employee. And he's like, what kind of joke am I about to sign up for, you know? Like, it's not going to feel like a real job. So once you start getting more employees and getting a squad put together, then the the hiring process is going to be easier because you got this culture already so people come in wanting to impress the culture and fit in you know so it's like this really badass saying I heard and I want to share it with you guys um, it's referring to like momentum okay so starting off is super hard and it's you got to do so much to get things going but once things get going once that momentum builds up it's like unstoppable. It's like things just keep flowing and it's like you're just like, you take your hands off the wheel and just everything just flows on its own. And you don't have to touch every little piece to make it work. Um, and the, 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 what's the word, is it? Analogy that I heard was, okay, so a freight train, big giant freight train, right? With like 100 cars, say there's like 10 engines on it, right? Um, and that thing's barreling down, barreling down the track. If you put anything in its way, it's going to just blow, it's going to just, um, demolish it, right? It's like that momentum. The momentum is built up and it's just going to, you're going to take down cars. You, you could probably put a house on the damn train track. That thing's going to barrel right through it. If you put a one inch cube steel block, so an inch by an inch, on the track, just on one track, not even both tracks, one track right in front of the wheel before this thing even moves, before this thing starts to build that momentum, that train will never move. <laughs> it will never get going. So, that's it's a genius analogy. It's genius. If we can find a way to get rid of these little blocks, flick these little blocks off the track, get, turn this little block here. Little block on the tree. Get out of here! Then the momentum is gonna just keep going, mine, and we uh, we're gonna we're gonna be 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 finally happy and free and, and proud of ourselves, and we'll be able to point and laugh at everybody with day jobs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. But there is a good feeling when, you know, there's people that talk shit about you or something, or like hated on you, or thought your ideas were stupid, and then they're working day jobs, and you're running a big seven-figure business one day. So, that's all I got, guys. I just wanted to share my thoughts. Uh, it's like, I don't know if you can see the clock back there. It's like 10 o'clock. 10.15. I gotta get to bed. We got a thousand dollar day ahead of us tomorrow, and uh, it's me and... Me and a girl. Me and Lexi are going to crush this one out. So, wish us luck. I think we'll be fine. I was really hoping my uh, brother could make it to work, but he's got a car issue or something. But, check you later, guys. And, hey, whoa, 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 before we hang up, please stop calling my phone. I love you guys. I really do. You guys are, like cool and you know like I want to be your friend and we're we go we're going through the same struggles or I've gone through some of the struggles you're going with and but I can't help everyone I know I was I know I was telling people to call me but that's got to stop because of this answering service the answering service I have to pay for every single time you guys call and it's it's getting kind of ridiculous so if you do have my number, shoot me a text. I'll get back to you. Or shoot me an email. I'll get back to you. Um, I will. Just be patient, you know. Later.